We have some breaking news in our politics lead. Members of the Congressional Black Caucus are demanding an apology from a Republican member of Congress over an alleged inappropriate incident on Capitol Hill today. Let's get straight to CNN's Manu Raju. Manu, walk us through what happened. Yeah, this is the chairwoman of the Congressional Black Caucus who essentially is accusing a veteran House Republican of putting his hands on her in an, in an altercation that occurred in the Capitol. She tweeted this. This is from Joyce Beatty, the congresswoman. She said, today, while I headed, well, headed to the House floor for votes, I respectfully asked my colleague, Congresswoman Hal Rogers of Kentucky, to put on a mask while boarding the train. He then poked my back, demanded I get on the train. When I asked him not to touch me, he responded, kiss my ass. Now, she goes on to say, this is the kind of disrespect we have been fighting for years and indicative of the larger issue we have with GOP members flaunting health and safety mandates designed to keep us and our staff safe. She ends by saying that, Congressman Hal Rogers, when you are ready to grow up and apologize for your behavior, you know where to find me. Now, just moments ago, members of the Congressional Black Caucus gathered on the steps of the Capitol, berating Hal Rogers for his treatment of Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, demanding a public apology, accusing him of assaulting her, and also making, accusing her him of uh, acting in ways considered a racist, in the words of some of the members, and demanding that he say something about this. But before this, ha all ha before this press conference happened, Jake, and after Congresswoman Beatty revealed that this occurred, that Rogers came to the House floor and he refused to comment on this altogether. Reporters asked him multiple times to discuss this incident that the Congresswoman tweeted about. He would not talk about it. His office has not yet commented on it as well. And it's unclear what re Democrats might do if they decide not to, if Rogers decides not to apologize. But this is what one Congressman, Brenda Lawrence, said just moments ago. Talk about preventing workplace harassment. This was harassment of a woman, a black woman, and a woman in leadership because he put his hands on her. He told her to kiss his part of his body. And I can tell you, being a little black girl from the east side of Detroit, I would not take that standing or sitting. And I'm not going to take it standing or sitting for one of our own to be disrespected for some reason. There seems to be this attitude of not accountability. I can say and do anything that I want. Today we're standing together. It stops today. And an apology publicly should be made. And we need to set an example never again. Now I yield. Now, Democrats would not say what they would do if Rogers does not publicly apologize, whether they would censure him. But, Jake, this is just all indicative of just the poisonous relationships between the two sides on the House side of the Capitol.